In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Drake's $100 million Toronto man. In order to maintain privacy and security, the city of Toronto granted special permission to build fences that are twice as high as their permitted height. The master bedroom area includes two dressing rooms and a steam room. When he's in more of a mood to relax, the In My Feeling singer has a glamorous lounge that features a grand piano and a massive marble double-sided fireplace with rows of gray sofas and chairs for seating. Drake has spent more than $1 million on 20-foot tall trees that go This nigga spent one million dollars on some trees Welcome back to the video on the channel, you feel what I'm saying? In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Drake's $100 million Toronto mansion. If you anything like me, you broke as hell. I'm playing, I'm playing. So as y'all know, Drake is a GOAT. Drake is like top tier. Drake is the top of the top. He's the most elite. Drake is probably the most recognizable rapper in the game right now. Drake is Drake. Personally, personally, he overrated. However, however, my favorite album has to be Nothing Was The Same. You know, I feel like that album has no skips on it. You know what I'm saying? You can listen to every song and get something from it. I ain't trying to take nothing away from the man. You feel me? The man got bands, the man got bank. The nigga got a hundred million dollar Toronto mansion while I'm living in a room. I've been watching Drake for a minute. I've seen Drake's come up. I was introduced to Drake, you know, through the grassy, like a lot of other people that I know. And ever since then, Drake been taking off. And it's crazy because it's like, I feel like Drake been hot before I was born. You know what I mean? Anyways, man, Drake has been popping for a good minute. Drake is the elite of the elite. This video finna be crazy. His crib finna be crazy. I just feel like we need to get into this video, man. I'm ready to see what's inside this man's crib. But I will be taking a few volunteers. You feel me? Um, I got a couple ski masks and glocks in the closet. If y'all want to run with me, we can run down on Drake. You might lose your life, you might win big. It's all a gamble. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I don't want no smoke or law enforcement. So let's get straight into this video. Let's see all the stuff that he got that we don't. <laughs> you did, because we on the same page. Big shout out to Top Trending, because this is what I'm viewing the video off of. If y'all want to copyright me, going ahead. I ain't running for no lawsuits. <laughs> You feel it. <laughs> Don't sue me. I'm just playing with y'all. Make sure you stay tuned for the whole thing. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. Thank y'all for coming to another video on this channel because at the end of the day, y'all got to. But I appreciate you because you here. You feel what I'm saying? Let's hop straight into this video and let's see what Drake has in his $100 million Toronto mansion. Whew. I'm about to hate my life after this video. Drake is an artist who needs no introduction. Love him or hate him, he's one of the biggest recording artists in the world. Every single one of his five albums has gone platinum, and he has an estimated net worth of $150 million. The rapper, whose real name is Aubrey. Bruh. Okay. $150 million. So I just got paid today. And if I'm comparing the 100, I'm not even gonna do that. Graham is known for making extravagant purchases with his formidable means, but perhaps his biggest purchase of all time is a massive compound in Toronto. Today, we're looking inside Drake's Toronto mansion. Any Drake fans know that the 33-year-old rapper hails from... 33? 100 million dollars. And he has plenty of hometown pride. So even though he has several homes, including a massive estate in Los Angeles, the Toronto house is his primary residence. The area is a lavish neighborhood set in North York, Toronto, lined with dazzling mansions owned by celebrities like Celine Dion or Robert Herjavec. Even Prince bought a home here back in 2001 after marrying Toronto native Manuela Testolini. Around the corner is the estate that was used as the home of Rachel McAdams' character in the 2004 movie Mean Girls. Drake had big plans for the bridal path lot, and he soon started putting them in practice, with his palatial 35,000 square foot mansion starting to take shape. Okay, and okay. If you anything like me, I know what a square foot is. Okay, I'm not dumb. I graduated high school. <laughs> you baby. But I can't even, I can't imagine 35,000 square feet. If my room is goddamn a half a foot, I don't know what I'm talking about. He constantly kept fans up to date with the progress, sharing videos on Instagram of the construction work underway. 
The impressive property is valued at $100 million and sits on over two acres of land. The crib features a special awards room and an indoor custom OVO NBA regulation size basketball court. I saw that. OVO damn. is short for October's very own, the name uh, of Drake's record label. I didn't know the that. The Toronto Raptors super fan posted a video of himself on Instagram in which he can be seen scoring a fadeaway jump shot from the extravagant top level down to the hoop below. His impressive athletic facility even attracted music producer DJ Khaled, 44, who visited his friend for a game in the OVO Center. When he's in more of a mood to relax, the In My Feeling singer has a glamorous lounge that features a grand piano and a massive marble double-sided fireplace with rows of gray sofas and chairs for seating. In another video, he shows off one of his living areas, complete with plush gray furniture decorated with cushions and slick, shiny coffee tables. The expansive room is home to a roaring fireplace with a tall mirror hanging above it. Huge chandeliers scale the high ceilings, and a grand piano sits in the corner of one of the rooms. This nigga is in a mall. This nigga don't... Okay. I still live in a room. His pad, which also includes an elevator, houses a large black and white marble island in the center of a modern kitchen that has plenty of room to entertain. The master bedroom area includes two dressing rooms and a steam room. There are four other bedrooms in the home. The outside of Drake's lavish new home looks more like a palace as the- That's not a house. I don't give a damn what y'all say, that's not a house. That's an apartment complex. That's not a house, my nigga. As the gated multi-million dollar estate also features a 10-car garage and spacious- 10-car gar- 10-car garage. My nigga, I don't even have a garage. To house the Degrassi actor's expansive auto collection. In 2015, the music mogul purchased the two-acre property for $6.7 million and hired Canadian home designer and builder Ferris Rafali to make his custom home dreams come true. In order to maintain privacy and security, the city of Toronto granted special permission last September to their hometown hero to build fences that are twice as high as their permitted height. Drake has spent more than $1 million on 20-foot-tall trees that go along the fences. This nigga spent $1 million on some trees! More than $1 million. So I be thinking, right, if I hit the lottery for $1 million, just $1 million, I be thinking, like, I'm finna, I'm finna get a crib, I'm finna get an apartment, I'm finna buy people all of this stuff, all the people that I love, I'm finna buy them all of this stuff, I'm finna be living good for the rest of my life, I'm gonna invest all of that stuff, right? This nigga spent a million dollars on some trees did i hear that correctly special permission last september to their hometown hero to build fences that are twice as high as their permitted height that's wild too drake has spent more than one million dollars on 20 foot tall trees that go one million dollars on some trees <laughs> fuck the trees my nigga. along the fences so he fits in with the neighborhood ctvn reported as if this wasn't enough, Drake showed off his singing toilet during an Instagram live video. The toilet plays relaxing ambient music while guests go about their business. A mansion wouldn't be complete without a bar or two, which Drake placed near his gigantic indoor pool. And if two isn't enough, he'll be having a third built to house chilled wine and champagne. Plus the rapper- This nigga. I know y'all saw that bar. If y'all ever been on a cruise ship, the bars look the exact same as Drake's crib. This nigga got a mall and he got a cruise ship all wrapped up in his crib. And I live in a goddamn room. Two saunas, a massage room, hot tub, piano room, screening room, and a gym to his humble abode. When Drake's good friend DJ Khaled stopped by the- I don't know why they showed this nigga after they said treadmill. He is not gonna be on no damn treadmill. He was so impressed that he personally sent praise to the house's designer, stating, amazing job. I want you to build my next estate. I've been thinking the name of the one we're going to build together because Embassy is incredible. Drake inspired me on another level. I have more work to do. The mansion was designed by Ontario-based luxury home designer and builder Ferris Rafali and personalized to suit Toronto's favorite son. Much of the house has not been photographed, so fans are hoping that Drake shares more photos on Instagram. There you have it, bro. Hey, man. You made it, bro. I still live in the room. If y'all still want to take that offer up, I got the ski mask ready, I got the Glocks ready. You might lose your life. I'm playing. I promise you I'm playing. You feel me? I'm playing. For real though, in all seriousness, it's crazy how much he was able to obtain off of making music. And I'm pretty sure he got other investments and stuff. But like, it's just crazy like how much success can bring you, my nigga. A hundred, like nigga, this shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy.
that's the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Big thank you to Top Trending. I'm most definitely gonna be reacting to a lot more videos on their channel because they got a lot of stuff that I feel like y'all wanna see and I feel like that I can react to because we in quarantine. I ain't finna go outside to make no videos right now. I might, just for y'all. I ain't gonna say that. But for right now, I'ma stay in the crib. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'ma be back with more videos. I love y'all. Thank y'all for all the love and support. And what we said in this video, God, God. As a matter of fact, no. When I do reactions, it's gonna be a different outro. Um, let's go with Took Me and God. Shit lame as hell. We're gonna figure that out next video. Thank y'all for coming to this video, like I always say. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you never seen my face, I'm Nigel Baker. You feel me? I love y'all with all my heart. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.